Hi guys, it's Trisha. Welcome back. I am again doing another video. <laughs> this is my fourth try. So I'm trying to do this gingerbread house. Everybody seemed to like it on Facebook and Instagram. So a lot of people were looking for a video. So I thought I would try to do one. Um, I did videotape this house, but I did it in time warp. So that one didn't work. So we're going to try this again. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these colors. I got a pencil to draw on my candies. I got my twin tone to darken stuff up. My Wigastella, my paintbrush pen so that I can draw in some frosting. I'm going to use my Molotov and a one and a four paintbrush. And I'm using just one stamp and that's the large cabin for, or this cabin from the large cabin set. And I'm going to just clean the stamp off because I've done this a couple of times and I keep forgetting to clean this and I need to do this right now. So, okay. So I had done up this little template so I could see where I wanted, what I wanted to leave it off and what I wanted to add and kind of get a little scene. So I'm going to leave all the, the window boxes off. I'm going to leave the size of this door off and anything that's underneath these eaves because those are going to be icing. We're going to add in some gumdrops, so we're going to leave off the bottom and then we're going to put a little um, candy cane over there. Okay? So first you want to carefully ink up your stamp, but just using the, just inking where you had it on your template, which is just these areas here. And then below this line here, because we're going to have some icing come down. So we want to make sure we're just going below that. And then I'm going to do this door, but I'm just going to do this inside because I want to do the candy cane on the outside. So I want to make sure I don't have any ink there. And I want to get rid of this ink that I just put here because those are, that's going to be icing and we don't want that to show. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Just going to huff on it and I'm going to stamp it at the bottom of my paper. Okay. So <clears throat> to start off, we're going to pull out the color out of the lines. Now, right now, I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit using my, my brush and some water to make sure that these little areas that I don't want to be colored aren't colored. So I'm just doing that by using my brush and some clean water just to get rid of those things. That one probably didn't matter because it's part of the house, so that's fine. Okay, so to start off, before we pull any color out of any lines, we're going to do some Molotov. So I'm going to do underneath each of these windows along these roof lines with this Molotov and right here. Because those I want to be white. So I want to make sure I'm getting enough in here so that they stay white. So we're going to have some here and underneath here. The same with over here. Just going to put some and then underneath this roof and I'm just dotting this in. I'm not really paying too much attention to where it's going. I just want this to all be white and then I'm going to bring it down a little bit when because the icicles kind of kind of come down. So I'm just jumping my brush, my Molotov back and forth, making sure to get good coverage so those areas really are protected. And then we'll put some underneath this window. Now see right here, I don't want this. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to slough it off. So 
make sure I can't see any white lines under here. And then right along this roof line here, and over here. And then underneath this window here, and then we'll put some right along the roof. And I think that looks pretty good. Oh, well, you don't want to do that. So it was drying and then I went to go over it and pulled it right up. So I'm just going to put some more on here and that's going to dry. So as that's drying, let's move on. I'm going to take this little line right here off too. I want that to be really white because I'm going to put my snow, I'm going to put my, <laughs> I'm hard, having a hard time with candy canes today, apparently. So first off, I'm going to, we're going to color in this house. Well, actually, nope. Let's not color in the house yet. Let's draw in what we're going to draw in. So this is going to come down a little bit further down here. And then we're going to have some gumdrops in here. So I'm just going to draw those in real light. And the same over here. And then I'm going to put my candy cane right in here. Okay, and then we'll put another one right here. Now I'm just going to take, this is just a graphite eraser that kind of, I can just stomp on it and it kind of lightens everything up because it is um, watercolor, so it is transparent, so those lines might show through. So up here, and I'm going to put a little bit of, I think up here I'm going to put some dots. because I want some candies to be up here. Apparently I need to clean off my Molotov because it looks like it's a little clogged. Okay. So over here, I think I'm gonna put a little candy cane. there and then we'll just bring this house down around it okay so I have some candies up here that I want to put maybe right here and here and then some little candies all around there You know what? I'm not going to put these up here. But I do want to draw a little bit of a line because I want to put some candy cane up there too. Okay? So I think, now last time I did this, my little candies came out a little wonky. So I think I'm going to fill them in with Molotov too. Just so that I make sure they stay round. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start by coloring in my um, gingerbread house. I'm going to do that with my number four. And I'm going to start up here with um, the chimney. Just because I want this all to dry, so I'm going to try to stay away from the, the parts that I just did with the Molotov. I'm just being really careful to go around these stones. I'm going to make them pink 
So they look like candies. And I'm doing just our first pass, pulling the color out of the lines. This is going to be a gingerbread house, so it's mostly going to be brown. So I'm going to put a lot of brown on my palette. So I know I'm going to use it. So, And then I'm just going to come in over on here because this is really going to be dark. So I'm just going to darken that in with another pass. And I'll probably come and do another pass on that as well later. Okay. So let's come down here. We'll soften this edge here. This side as well is going to be pretty dark. Okay, we'll do the side over here. I'm going to go be very careful to go around my candy cane and watch out for those gumdrops that are going to be right here. So I'm going to just paint around them right now so we don't forget they're there. Same with this. window and I'm going to pull this color into the middle of this window because this window is actually going to be part of the house and then I'm going to pull it on the outside because that this middle I want to be really really light because I'm going to that's where I'm going to put my candy cane stripes Then I can just add some more color. It's nice to build it up slowly so you get a nice smooth transition and then we'll add some texture later. Okay, so that side's done. We're going to add and just do another quick pass over here. And then maybe another one over here just to darken this up. This side of this house is going to be really, really dark. So let's move on to the other side of the house. And I'm just, I know I'm using color. The color's going to bring, I'm going to pull the color out and out of the lines anyway, so I don't mind having extra color on my brush. Just going to be careful of this candy cane area. I'm going to course my gumdrops and then just using some more brown, darken those areas up. Okay. And then we'll do a quick pass on the door. Now the door we're going to make into a chocolate bar. So I want to keep this a little bit on the lighter side. Go around that door handle. Okay. Now let's pull some of this color out of the top here. So we're going to keep that highlight at the very top. 
I'm going to add some more color here. And on the other side. And I'm really just throwing color on here right now. And that's going to be really dark in that on that side roof right there because it's it's this is going to be really in the dark here. So I'm just going to put a nice dark coat on it and on the side of this chimney. And just darken this up a little bit here. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come in and put some more on there. So this little guy in here is going to be really dark. inside this window because again the windows are part of the gingerbread house glad I covered up all those things because those were just a pain to try to get around okay we'll just get rid of this one here Maybe this time I will use my use my fine tip and time instead of trying to paint them in because they're very difficult to paint in. Okay. And you can always add a little bit darker color here and there just to get a different variation. It is food. So it's going to be it's going to be different colors here and there because things just don't cook perfectly. Okay, so I think we're done with this. Maybe. Moving on, I'm going to add just a little more color to this cuz this looked a little light. Some more dark brown. Excellent. Okay. So that's done. So let's move on. Oh, we missed a window here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of pink in my chimney give that a little color okay We'll color some of these raindrops in. Put our candy cane in. And then we'll do the stripes. Well, I guess I decided to do them with my brush. And actually, if I'm going to do it with my brush, I'm going to do them with my number one because a number four is a little bit challenging. Should have done this with a number one too, but I did not. So, oh well, it's fine. Nothing to be mad about here. We can just darken them right up. OK, 
Okay. You can always come in again with another pass and darken them up. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the three windows here. So I'm just going to ink, get my brush nice and wet. Well, not wet, but full of color. Try to get it to a point. And then just lightly touch here. These don't have to be perfect. Clearly, mine are not perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do these peppermints here. But before I do that, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a hint of a shadow so it gives them a little more dimension. I did not do these on my other one. I felt like they needed something. So let's let that dry for a minute. Come back in here on our... We'll darken that up. I'm gonna put in my chocolate here. So I'm just going to do rectangles, fill them in, just like when you do windows, same thing. Just gives a little bit of a hint of it looking like a chocolate bar. At least I think so. Okay, so those should be dry now. I think I'm going to draw in these little things. Let's do our gumdrops at the bottom. We'll do this little guy up here because he's green too. Right, I'm going to start with this one back here and I'm just going to, I'm going to leave, well, show you. Now this one, I'm just going to leave a thin white line in between. I'll let that dry before I try to do the other one because they were bleeding into each other and I didn't want that. So now all I do is just go in here and jump my brush around with a darker color. Gives them a little bit of a texture to them. So they look like they're gumdrops. Okay. And I can come back in once that's dry and put some more detail in. <clears throat> I just want to darken this little guy up a little bit. Now he's got a little hint of a green because I didn't clean off my brush, but that's okay. I'm not mad about it. I just come right back over it with a brown. Okay. 
So I think we got all of our portions and pieces in. So I think it might be good to take off this masking fluid, which I don't know why mine always does that. If I use green, it comes out green. If I use brown, it comes out brown. I don't know if I just need a new, a new, new masking fluid or I'm just not putting it on properly. That's okay, because I have a white gel pen, which I'm gonna use to clean up some of that so that that stays really white. Okay, so here it is after the mask is gone. Now what I'm gonna do is take my number one. Maybe I didn't get all of this off. So sometimes I use my, my eraser and just try to get the rest of that off if it didn't come off all the way. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put some blue highlights underneath some of these you want this to be really light. You don't want this to be dark. So I'm just putting some highlights underneath here so that it kind of makes this stand out a little bit more. And I'm only going underneath. So that just gives a little bit of dimension. That was a little dark. Just dragging it off with my brush. Like I said, don't worry about this too much because I'm going to come in with my, my white gel pen and really lighten that so it's, it's more white than brown. <laughs> than brown, which is kind of is brown right now. So here is my... acrylic paint and I'm just going to come in here and brighten up some of those icings. Okay, so now I'm just coming in here like that was that area that I thought was just too dark. Now I can just take this, come right across here. Kind of fill this area in so it looks more white. Easy peasy. So let's go in. We'll put some green in. I'm going to put some more little dots over here. 
just to give them a little more dimension. Okay. And now let's put some color in on the roof. So Okay, now I'm just going to come in and do the same thing with the red. And now with my fine tip, I'm going to just throw some green in here. Look like little sprinkles. And I'm going to do the same with the red up here. And there may be some down here. So I'll mix up some green in here too. Looks really, really like little sprinkles all over in here. Okay. And then just our finishing touches. So I'm going to put a window in here. And maybe I'll put some snow in the window or some frosting. The same over here. And up here. I can even put some more frosting, some icicles right up here. And get some swirlies. Okay, so that's about it. That's all it is. I'm going to put, actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm just going to tell you that was all it is, but it's not. So we're going to put a little bit of that purple underneath the door. And then around our little gumdrops. It's going to ground our house a little bit. A little bit here underneath this candy cane. Softening those lines up a little bit. Now you can come in and darken anything that you think should be darker. So I want to just come in, make this line here a little darker. And 
inside this Sometimes just darkening a few areas really makes a difference. Bonnie says that all the time, but it really does make things pop a little bit more. Just to have some really dark areas. Sometimes it's hard just to get some, get those dark areas with the brush. So if you have to come in with your refined tip, just do it. No one is going to know the difference. You know, so I'm just going along the bottom of these, just giving them a little bit of a darker area. And that's it. Last thing, sign and date. And that is my gingerbread house. You can, of course, add a sky. Because, you know, i just done this so many times, I keep forgetting I need to do other things. So I'm just not, I'm not getting, I'm getting close, but I'm not touching this house. And I just want to give it a little bit of a sky behind it so that it pops it out just a little bit more. And I'm just pushing my brush around. I'm not trying to be careful. I think the messier, the better. And that's it. That is my house. So hopefully you like this project. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and hopefully I will find some time in my busy schedule to start doing videos again. But I really appreciate you coming and stopping by and spending some time with me today. So I hope you like this project and I will talk to you later. Have a good day.